Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome back to the Daily List Report. As you saw, we have our very own Ashley back on the show today talking about all things Canva. Today, she's covering a bunch of really great topics, how to add emojis and GIFs to your designs, easy ways to add your listing photos to your designs. She's gonna compare Canva Live to Zoom, and she's gonna talk about how to integrate Canva with other software you may already use, like HubSpot, Typeform, PandaDoc, etc. It's always great. You love her episodes, really useful tips. Of course, while you're here, please consider subscribing to this channel and click that little bell so you're notified of all future episodes and if you're short on time we've set up a new instagram account where we're posting clips and tips and all kinds of cool stuff so give me a follow right there on instagram all right without further ado here's ashley hi agentpreneurs i'm ashley and today i'm back to talk about two new canva features so first of all these features one of them canva live is for pro accounts only or enterprise you know any paid account um, so free accounts will not be able to access this feature but I still wanted to give you an overview who knows maybe it'll be something that you find a big asset and convinces you to upgrade to pro um, but I also just thought it'd be nice to know that you have these tools available to you if you do have a pro account so first of all let's dive into canva live now this tool is something that you can use during a presentation. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull up a presentation design, template, uh, anything you have available. As you can see, I've just gone and chosen an old presentation of mine called Three Steps to Social Media Success. Uh, I actually did use this presentation in a previous episode. So if you do wanna know the content of this, I recommend going in to check it out. It was Social Media Success with Rod, Ryan, and I, two of my team, mem team members, uh, and the three of us did a presentation on it. So quick plug for an old episode if you wanna go check it out. Um, but other than that, just pull up any, any presentation that you wanna use, and you're gonna see that you can go up to the right and click Present. Now the interface here is gonna look a lot like Google Slide, PowerPoint, things that you're really familiar with. You're gonna hit present, and then you can select the type of presentation you wanna do standard, which means that you click the slides yourself if they advance at your own pace, pretty basic. You can do autoplay, which means you, know, you set it to five seconds, 10 seconds, and the slides will automatically progress at that time period. And then you can also do a presenter view, which gives you access to notes, upcoming slides, all of that. Now, none of this is new. Again, Google Slides, PowerPoint, a lot of these interfaces have the same features, but there is something that they don't have. So if you click present, you're gonna see it opens up beautiful. It just looks nice. You can clearly see what you're presenting. You'll see that your cursor actually tracks around the screen and it's blue so you can see it, which is fun. You can click forward to advance or you can use the arrows on your keyboard to go back or advance. But if you go down here, this is where your controls are. Now, obviously you can restart the presentation. You can open your presenter view if you have decided you don't want that and then suddenly you're like, ah, I had notes, I need it. You can just simply open it here. And then right here is your Canva Live. So if you click there, you're gonna see that, first of all, it opens a little bar on your right that says Canva Live and you have to start the session. And what this does is it's going to let your audience join in from any device, phone, computer, whatever they've got, and crowdsource questions. So if you click start new session, you'll see that up at the top, this is what your audience will see. They'll see visit canva.live and enter this code. So then I'm gonna use my phone, but if I open up Canva Live and I type in this code, which is at the top of the screen, very clear, very easy to see. And again, the user interface here on the phone is super easy. You literally just enter the code and then it pops up. It looks very similar to this. And it simply says, type a question or comment with a little heart next to it. So you can simply type in, and let's say my presentation here is about social media. Yours will probably be about real estate, open house, something. But for my presentation, a, question, a good question would be, um, can I connect with clients on LinkedIn? Question mark, because I appreciate punctuation. And then they can enter their name, which is optional. So if I send it without a name, it'll just say anonymous. So can I connect with clients on LinkedIn? And then let's say someone has a specific question. Um, what should my Instagram handle be? And they can put their name on that and then send it. And so then I can say, oh, well, okay. Answer first question. Can you connect with clients on LinkedIn? Of course. Is that the best place to do it? Probably not, go to Facebook or Instagram. And then, hey, if you have questions about your Instagram handle, I'll have tips on that in the next few slides, so hang tight. 
So this way, I think it's just a great way for your audience to interact with you. And I do recognize that this is very similar to Zoom. So you may be like, eh, not a big deal, not really into it, totally fine. But for me, with Zoom, the chat is usually hidden and you have to open it and it's on a separate window. And I usually, it gets lost. And so a lot of the times when I'm giving presentations, I lose track of people who are asking questions. I don't really see what's going on in the chat until someone speaks up and is like, hey, I saw a question, can you answer it? So here, what I love about it it's front and center, it keeps the questions, they pop up live, they happen right in front of you, and you can see who's asking them if they want you to be able to see their name. And it just, to me, it feels more cohesive, it's all in the same window. And the other thing you can do is actually they can send reactions. So you can see in the left-hand corner, there's just cute little emojis that make you feel good as a presenter. So all of that aside, let's say we're done with the presentation, we're gonna end the session, you can keep going. Um, you can always close out the live, you know, if you want to open up to questions at some point and then close it and then come back, you can start and end multiple sessions within a presentation, however you want. Now, the only other fun thing about this presentation, and I'm, this is just a purely Canva magic shortcuts fun thing that I just wanted to share, is you can actually add these effects and what it'll do. Sometimes you have to select and then deselect. So this is one of those. So the blur, you can blur it out until you're ready to start your presentation. Or if you're answering a question and you don't want people distracted reading the slides, you can do that. Um, you can do, and this is going to make noise and this is really funny to me, but <laughs> they have a quiet feature. And I feel like this is for teachers, you know, but, you know, maybe, you know, adults don't love being shushed, but it is fun. And it's just their way of being delightful. You can add some bubbles. You can add confetti. Um, you can even do, and this is a really fun one. I'm going to wait for the confetti to drop, but this one has sound. So sorry if this is loud, but you can do a drum roll. And then you can end with confetti. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, this is just an extra step. Again, this doesn't necessarily make it more convenient to use than Google Slides if that's what you're used to, but it is a great tool to have at your disposal, something free. It adds a little bit of pizzazz to your presentations that other people just may not have and can help you stand out from the competition just a little bit by looking a little more professional, being a little more fun and interactive. Um, and it's all pretty easy to use. And so that's just what I love about Canvas presentation interface. So that aside, if we go back, there's one other feature I wanted to show you today, and that was just Canva apps and integrations. So first of all, if you ever want to publish something and you, you know, design, presentation, whatever it is, you can send it to multiple places, but they also have recommendations for if you want to integrate with HubSpot or PageProof or PandaDoc or any of these Typeform. If you know Typeform, um, you can use any of those and connect your audience to that app, the third party app with Canva. So that just makes your life easier. So if you recognize any of those, amazing. If you don't, don't worry about it. It probably isn't important. Um, but then if you go down here and I'm gonna have to move my bubble cause it's um, hiding behind me. Sorry, I'm gonna get out of the way, excuse me. <laughs> but if you go down here to the more um, under your folders and you click more, whoops, I've already clicked in on one on accident. You can see that you're going to have Canva apps that are available to you. And one of them is this charts, which you can use to just create charts and diagrams in your designs, but you're also gonna have integrations. And so some people may have noticed like me, you can't actually use emojis in Canva. You can search and they have these Canva designed versions of emojis, but it's not quite the same thing. So let's say you're someone who loves emojis, wants to put them in your presentations and your designs. All you have to do is click here, and it opens it up, it adds it in, and then you can add whatever designs you want, whatever emojis, they're all there. And it stays there unless you decide to exit out, right? So as long as I'm in this design and I go down and let's say, okay, I really want GIFs as well. I love GIFs, GIFs make things fun. I wanna add them in, make it really easy. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm also going to add in Dropbox because hey, maybe you have some listing photos in Dropbox and that'd make it super easy for you to just integrate and then click and go. So. This is great. I just found this really helpful for me personally. There's a lot here. You can add QR codes, Google Maps, YouTube videos. You can connect Instagram and Facebook so that you can use pictures that you've already shared on Facebook and Instagram and then integrate it. Those definitely take, you know, you have to connect it and go through that process. Um, but it's a fun feature. And I just thought that this might make your life a little bit easier, which is what Canva's here to do. Um, but again, you can scroll down and find these other ones too. 
They have illustrated comic book characters. You could do your Bitmoji. I know a lot of people love to take our shareables and add your Bitmoji in order to make it a little more personalized. Um, so that's an easy way here. You can just simply download your shareable, put it in Canva, add the Bitmoji, and then publish directly to whatever social platform you want. Um, but that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you found both of those helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you actually end up using these. I know that they're not make or break features, but I did think it was interesting to see what you had available to you when you have a pro account. Um, so again, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you find it helpful. And until next time, have a wonderful week, Agentpreneurs. And thanks to Randy for having me back. Ashley, thank you so much for coming back on the show. Our agents love it when you give them all of these great tips, especially with Canva and other social media tools. If you enjoyed today's episode, again, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell so you're notified of all future episodes. And until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy. We'll see you soon. <music>